Pickles, this is AJ170, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get live weather on your home screen and lock screen. Now right now there's a screenshot popping up of what it looks like on the lock screen. Now if it's not showing up, that means I accidentally deleted it, which is what I probably did. But yeah, oh well, shit happens. It's probably inside the recovery files. Might be able to get it back, might not if it's not up there. But anyways, as you can see right here, that's the current temperature and it is outside. So that's what it looks like on the home screen. You need this brilliant app right here. So it's gonna close out of that. As you see, it's currently 54 degrees outside for me. Yeah, I mean, I found this when I was trying to find a live weather one and this is the closest I could find. Now the notifications, is set, you can have it set to you like to where he sends it to you at a certain time of day. Now it says it does it for 15 days, but I've been using this for 17 days and it still sends it to me every morning. The time will get messed up and I'll have to reset it every once in a while, but I mean that's no, no, no real big deal to me. Right now it's updating, I guess it probably won't update since below internet connection. But I mean it does most of the time they'll update inside the background, so I mean you're pretty much good there. I, mean, I think this is really useful to have because I mean a lot of times I'll be down in the basement and a friend will text me every once in a while and be like, hey, do you want to come outside? And I'll look at my phone, I'll be like, oh hey, that that's what that temperature it is outside. So let's go ahead, hit settings. And then as you can see, you can go and have it at a specific time. I got set for 6 a.m. because I'll normally wake up at about 6.30 a.m. in the morning for school. So, I mean, that's like perfect timing for me. So, yeah. I think it's pretty useful. You see, if it comes up on my notifications, I might just be able to show it here. I ah, know, screw that, it's too much work. But, yeah, I hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. This will also be my last video for a while because I am pretty much out of iOS tutorials. There's uh, two more, and both of them require my new Apple ID. Um, my friend, he somehow bypassed the Apple policy where uh, if an app gets removed from the Play Store or the App Store, they remove it off of your purchase history. Well, I got two apps that removed from the Play Store within the past week, or App Store, my bad, that removed from the past week, but they're still in my purchase history. I don't know what he did, but that's a good thing he did it. But yeah, this is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time. Pa pickle, pa 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 pickle, pickle pickle, 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 pa pickle, pa 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 pickle, pickle.